Maps Introduction Blueprint maps are two important tools of geography. Both are very useful in studying the Earth's surface. Globes which are spherical in shape are the exact replica of the Earth. As the globes are of the same shape as that of the Earth, they represent the shape of the landmass and the water bodies with great accuracy. However, as the globes always show the entire Earth, these cannot be used to depict any small area. Maps become useful for this purpose. They can show the entire Earth or any part of it. Unlike globes, they can show small areas with detailed information about them, for example, a city map or a locality map. Importance of Maps Geographical maps represent the whole Earth or any part of it on paper or any flat surface. Maps provide a variety of information about any area. Thus, they are classified into various types. Maps are generally classified into three types. These are physical maps, political maps and thematic maps. Physical maps Such maps show the natural features of the earth like mountains, plains, plateaus, water bodies, etc. Political maps These show the political divisions of the earth. Countries, states, cities are marked along with their well-depicted boundaries. Thematic maps As the name suggests, the map have a specific theme or subject. They may be road maps, rainfall maps, vegetation maps, etc. Fact Blue color on a map shows water bodies while green color shows plains. The arrow which shows the north is called the north line. Types of maps The earth as a whole or any part of it cannot be drawn exactly of the same size. Secondly, as we may use the map anywhere, it is also not easy to know the correct direction of a place marked on the map. Thirdly, it would be difficult to know the exact distance between two points marked on the map. To solve these problems, each map has a scale and the direction north marked on it. Large and small scale maps Each map may be drawn of different size. Often, a book page is used to show a city but can also be used to show the world. On the basis of the size of the area drawn and the scale of the map, maps are classified into two types, namely large scale maps and small scale maps. When a large area is shown on a paper, very few details may be marked. For example, a map of the continent with the scale 1 cm is equal to 1 lakh kilometers cannot show the details of a city. Such a map is called a small scale map. On the other hand, a city map with a scale 1 cm is equal to 1 km shows a locality, colony with the detailed information like roads, schools, hospitals, etc. Such maps are called large scale maps. Plan Other than a map and a sketch, there is another large scale representation of an extremely small area like a house or a school. Such drawings are represented according to a scale, show very minor details also. These are called plans. Scale of a map All the features on the map including distance between two points cannot be shown or marked exactly as on the land. Therefore, the area on the ground is reduced proportionately to fit the size of the surface on which the map is drawn. The tool that helps us to reduce the size of the earth and its part and also calculate the exact distance between two points on the ground as represented on the map is the scale of the map. Any drawing, however, accurate it may be, if drawn without a scale, is called a sketch. For example, 
when you draw to guide your friends to reach your house, this drawing is called a sketch. Scale is defined as the ratio of the distance on the map and the corresponding distance on the ground. The distance on the ground is usually measured in large units such as kilometers or miles while the units of measurement distance on the map are centimeters and inches. The scale of a map shows how many smaller units such as centimeters or inches on the map represent how many kilometers or miles on the ground. For example, the scale of the map reads 1 centimeter is equal to 1 kilometer. It means that 1 centimeter distance measured on the map is equal to 1 kilometer distance on the ground. Thus, the scale helps us to reduce the size of the earth and represent it as a whole or in part on a piece of paper. The scale used on the map is of three types. The statement scale, the representative fraction scale, RF, the linear or the graphic scale. The statement scale. The statement scale is the easiest to read. It needs no calculation to read and understand what it indicates. It uses simple words to represent the ratio of the distance on the map to that of corresponding distance on the ground. For example, the statement scale is written as 1 cm is equal to 2 km. This means 1 cm on the map is equal to 2 km on the ground. Some examples of statement scale are 1 cm is equal to 2500 km. 1 inch is equal to 200 miles. This scale has a disadvantage and cannot be used universally in all the countries. All the countries do not use the metric system or any universal unit of measurement. The representative fraction scale, RF. The representative fraction scale, RF, overcomes this disadvantage of the statement scale. The RF is given as a ratio of the distance on the map taken as unity to the corresponding distance on the ground where both the values have the same unit and therefore no unit. For example, 1 is to 200 means 1 cm on the map is equal to 200 cm on the ground or 1 inch is equal to 200 inches on the ground. Since it has no unit, the RF can be universally used all over the world. Any suitable unit can be placed on both sides and used to calculate the distance on the map. The RF just says that one unit is equal to 200 units and the unit may be any. The numerator or the value of distance on the map is always 1. This scale, however, needs some calculation to get an idea of what it actually represents. For example, if the RF of a map is 1 is to 50,000, then by definition it means 1 cm is equal to 50,000 cm. If we convert 50,000 cm into meters, we get 1 cm is equal to 50,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 500 meters. So, the statement scale of this RF would be read 1 cm is equal to 500 meters or 0.5 km. If we convert this statement into whole numbers, we get 1 cm is equal to 0.5 km, 2 into 1 cm is equal to 2 into 0.5 km, 2 cm is equal to 1 km. Thus, the RF of 1 is to 50,000 means that 2 cm on the map shows 1 km on the ground. The linear scale The linear scale is represented through the graphical drawing of the scale with divisions and subdivisions and is therefore also known as the graphical scale. Each division measures the distance on the map 
and the value written along the scale shows the distance on the ground. The big divisions on the scale are called the primary divisions. The zero or the beginning of the scale is marked after the first primary division. The first primary division of the scale is further divided into small divisions or the secondary divisions. The scale shows 1 cm is equal to 1 km. The unit of the primary or secondary divisions may be the same or different like kilometers and meters etc. Directions Like distance, the other important aspect that we need to note on the map is direction of places. The north is always pointed towards the top of the page. It is shown on a map with the north line and arrow marked with letter N at the upper right hand corner of the map. Opposite to the north, the bottom represents the south. The left hand direction is the west and on the right hand side is the east. On the land, when we face the rising sun, we face the east, the west lies behind us. The left hand shows north and south lies towards our right. The four main directions are referred to as the cardinal directions. Along with these four main directions, there are four other directions that lie between these main directions. The four intermediate directions lying between the main directions are northeast between north and east, southeast between south and east, southwest between south and west, and northwest between north and west. Conventional signs and symbols The size of the map is much smaller than the actual size of the land that it represents. Due to this reduced size on a map, it is not possible to show the natural and man-made features on the map in their actual shape and size. Therefore, some symbols which are accepted all over the world are used to represent features like rivers, roads, mountains, cities, etc. on the map. These symbols are known as the conventional symbols. These symbols are useful as they facilitate the representation of meaningful information on the map. Diagrammatic representation of physical features River meander A meander, in general, is a bend in a sinuous watercourse or river. A meander forms when moving water in a stream erodes the outer banks and widens its valley and the inner part of the river has less energy and deposits silt. Anticline and syncline Fold mountains are mountains formed mainly by the effects of folding on layers in the upper part of the earth's crust. The part of the fold rising upwards is called an anticline and the part of the fold which sinks downwards is called a syncline. Tributaries A tributary or a fluent channel is a stream or river that flows into a large stream or mainstream or parent river or a lake. It adds water to the main river. Distributaries A distributary or a distributary channel is a stream that branches off and flows away from a mainstream channel. They are a common feature of river deltas. A distributary takes water away from the main river at its mouth. This phenomenon is known as river bifurcation. Delta A wide inverted Y shaped alluvial fan at the mouth of a river when it empties into the sea is called a delta. The river divides into a number of channels called distributaries that take the water to the sea. Block Mountain the fault block mountains or block mountains are created when faults or cracks in the earth's crust force materials or blocks of rocks upwards or down. The uplifted blocks are block mountains or hosts. The intervening dropped blocks are called graben 
which can be small or form rift valley systems. Thank you.